from praising Sasha Carrier's performance as Supergirl to the brutal consequences if the movie is successful. This is how Henry Cavill reacted to the new Flash movie. Despite all the controversy surrounding Ezra Miller and the Snyder-era DCEU, the upcoming Flash film is causing quite the positive buzz, which is a miracle in itself. But surprisingly, that's not the juiciest part. Apparently, Henry Cavill is a fan. Journalist Damian Nakich spilled the beans on Twitter after chatting with Sasha Carrie, who plays Supergirl in The Flash. During a press conference in Latin America, Sasha revealed that she reached out to Henry Cavill for some superhero advice. Apparently, Sasha gave Cavill a massive bear hug when she saw him and asked the actor for his opinion on her performance as Supergirl. Guess what he said? Absolutely, you did a phenomenal job. Sasha also spoke to Melissa Benoist, who played Supergirl in the CW series for six seasons. She too was full of praise for Sasha and her performance in the movie. If you remember, Cavill was supposed to make a cameo in The Flash, but Warner Brothers scrapped that idea in December 2022 and replaced him with Nicolas Cage. It's great to see Cavill praising the film even though he won't be the one wearing the red cape this time. Or really, any time. But the thing is, Cavill isn't alone in his judgment. I'm talking about Jaden Smith, Terry Crews, Edgar Wright, and James Gunn, the man in charge of DC Studios. They all agree that Ezra Miller's upcoming movie is a masterpiece in the superhero genre. I don't know about you, but that's some high praise. But wait, there's more. Stephen King received an exclusive invite to an advanced screening of The Flash at CinemaCon in April. King, who's usually not the biggest fan of superhero flicks, was blown away by the film. Tom Cruise was also one of the lucky few who got to catch the early screening of The Flash, and the man couldn't contain his excitement. He was so blown away by what he saw that he immediately wanted to get on the phone with the director, Andy Muschietti. According to Cruz, The Flash is the epitome of what a movie should be. That's high praise coming from a Hollywood heavyweight like Cruz. Tom went on to say that this film is exactly what we need right now. Is it just me? Or is everyone buzzing with excitement after hearing that? But before we get too far ahead on the hype train, it's important to note that not all reactions have been positive. Senior film reporter Jeff Snyder had some mixed feelings about the film. While he admitted that it was fantastic, he had some gripes with The Last Hour, calling it mostly terrible. Film critic Hui Tran Bui also had some unsavory things to say about the movie. According to her, The Flash is like a never-ending cycle of disappointment where a special character is resurrected over and over again, each return is more hollow than the last. She goes on to argue that The Flash is nothing more than a mishmash of Hollywood's obsession with intellectual property and nostalgia, pretending to be a heartfelt time-skipping adventure. She says that buried deep within this mess, there might have been a good movie waiting to be discovered. Unfortunately, it gets drowned out by the desperate attempts to create a multiverse-spanning crossover event. According to Bowie's review, The Flash is a fun but weightless experience. It throws in moments of genuine emotion, but they can't rescue the film from the mess of multiversal cameos and canon-resetting bloat. That's one to stop the hype train dead in its tracks. But then again, Plenty of other critics seem to have enjoyed the movie. According to Alex Flood from NME Magazine, The Flash is serving up some serious goodness. He writes that unlike other superhero movies that use time travel as a vague plot device or a means to bring together different actors from various series, The Flash takes a different approach. It focuses on a personal and relatable motive. Who wouldn't want to prevent the death of a loved one? Flood also praised the film's visuals, saying that the combination of mind-blowing CGI and head-banging music take the potentially dull sci-fi element and turn it into the film's greatest strength. How's that for a change, DC fans? Critic Eric Davis also had similar views about the movie. He took it a step further and called it one of the best superhero films ever made. Scott Menzel chimed in as well and called The Flash the ultimate movie-going experience. Pair these critic reviews with what guys like Henry Cavill, Tom Cruise, and Stephen King are saying, and The Flash is shaping up to be a must-see movie. Say what you will about Ezra Miller, the rest of the cast definitely deserves this praise. In an interview with People, Sasha Carrier shared her feelings about being the first-ever Latina to play Supergirl and the impact the role had on her. 
Carrier expressed her deep appreciation and joy, describing it as an honor and a significant moment in her career. According to Carrier, seeing her character fly in front of the sun and fight bad guys was a powerful experience for her. She described feeling like a five-year-old version of herself and how great it would have been to see a superhero that looked like her when she was younger. While Carrier acknowledges that she isn't the first actor to portray Supergirl in live action, she recognizes the significance of being the first non-white person to take on the role. The representation and visibility she brings to her community hold a lot of importance for her. She's very excited to see what fans have to say about her performance. Hopefully, it's just as good as what some of the early birds have said. After all, it's been one heck of a journey for the cast and the fans. This film had more false starts than a clumsy sprinter. Directed by the mastermind behind it, Andy Muschietti, and written by the genius behind Birds of Prey, Christina Hodson, this movie takes inspiration from the iconic DC comic Flashpoint. Barry Allen, played by the controversial Ezra Miller, goes back in time to save his mother from the jaws of death, only to unleash total chaos and create an alternate reality that'll make your head spin. But this movie isn't just about Barry's temporal tomfoolery, it's also a blast from the past as the legendary Michael Keaton dons the cape of the Dark Knight from the Burtonverse. He's going to guide not one, but two versions of Barry Allen as they navigate the convoluted timeline. In a move that'll make your bat senses tingle, Ben Affleck's also making a comeback as the DCEU's Batman. No wonder fans are buzzing with anticipation. There's even speculation that The Flash might just be the reboot we've been waiting for, setting the stage for a brand new DC universe. It looks like James Gunn and Peter Safran are stirring up something big, and this movie could be the catalyst. But here's the shocking news. Despite all the hype surrounding The Flash, it's projected to have a rather slow start at the box office, with an estimated opening weekend take of around $70 million. But don't write it off just yet. Remember Aquaman? It had a modest opening too, but ended up swimming in cash with a domestic haul of $335 million. So let's not judge a speedster by its opening sprint, shall we? But then again, if the movie is successful at the box office, that just opens a whole other can of worms. The Flash's brilliance actually presents a bit of a headache for DC. With James Gunn at the helm of a much-publicized reboot of the comic book movie universe, the Scarlet Speedster's future seemed uncertain. Add in Ezra Miller's well-publicized personal problems, and a poorly received film could have been the perfect opportunity to bid farewell to both Miller and the bad press. But with the critical buzz surrounding The Flash and the potential box office success it may bring, that scenario seems highly unlikely now. The Flash's future is looking brighter than ever. Will that be a good thing for the DCEU or will it be somewhat of a curse? Having the lead actor of one of your biggest franchises be a criminal definitely isn't a good look. What'll happen if Miller has another episode? Will the DCEU recast The Flash? Will they drop the franchise altogether? Or do what they're doing right now? Ignore everything and hope for the best. It might have worked this time, but it won't always. So from the brutal consequences if the movie is successful, to praising Sasha Carrier's performance as Supergirl, that's how Henry Cavill reacted to the new Flash movie.